what will heaven look or be like are we going to be there in our human form what are we all going to be doing in heaven i give you eight important factors to help you understand heaven and to get you excited about being there someday fact number one the new heaven or as you may call it the new jerusalem the new jerusalem or the new heaven will be on this earth the apostle john had this vision of heaven when he was living on an island called patmos according to John, the New Jerusalem, which is like the capital city of heaven, will actually come down to our earth. Imagine a beautiful heavenly city coming down right here on our planet. That may sound like an alien fictional movie. God has personally chosen earth as the central place for his internal kingdom. This means that God will transform our earth into a stunning paradise just like the Garden of Eden that he originally intended for us. The Bible tells us that the old earth and old heaven will pass away and a new earth and new heaven will take their place. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away and there was no longer any See, I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old things has passed away. This scripture from the book of Revelation written by Apostle John described the vision of a new heaven and a new earth where God's dwelling place is among his people. It speaks of a place where suffering, tears, and death no longer exist. And God provides comfort and internal peace. I can't wait to see heaven. Fact number two, will we rule with Jesus for 1,000 years? This 1,000 year period, also known as the Millennium Kingdom, comes after the tribulation. During this time, Jesus will be the king of the world from Israel to all the nations of the world. He will be ruling the whole world from Israel. That means Jesus will be the world power ruling the whole world directly from Israel as the world headquarters. If you are wise, you will not know why the devil hates Israel so much. The devil knows the Messiah Jesus is coming to take over in Israel and he wants to stop it. But guess what? The Bible says that Satan will be bound and locked away during this time and everyone will worship God right from the start. The main purpose of this 1000 year reign is to fulfill God's promises, some of which was meant for Israel and you and I included. Jesus' rule will ensure these promises are kept. For 1,000 years, Satan will be bound and locked away before the millennium. And this period promises to be an exceptional time due to his absence. After this era, Satan will be released. You can read Revelation 20 to find out more. I can't wait to reign with Jesus. Fact number three. The tree of life will give healing to all the nations. Picture this right in the heart of a heavenly city called Jerusalem. There stand a majestic tree, the tree of life. It's a tree like no other. It's a tree that promises not just physical healing, but also healing for the soul. So this tree is like a doctor for everyone who has ever been heartbroken, been cast away, been forgotten, been treated wrongly. This tree will heal you forever. Now, here is the exciting part. This very tree of life has a remarkable history. It was in the very first garden ever called the Garden of Eden. It was a garden full of beautiful and very delicious trees. But something sad happened. The first humans, Adam and Eve, had to leave the garden because they didn't listen to God. The devil lied to Eve, the woman, that she could take the place of God and become just like God. The boss babe mentality. I don't need a God. This mentality all started in the Garden of Eden with the very first woman on earth. Because of this, both Eve and Adam couldn't eat from this very special tree and live forever. But as the story goes, Adam and Eve were banished from the garden after their disobedience. Imagine Imagine if they could have eaten the tree of life 
they could have lived forever as sinners that would have been very dangerous just imagine if all the wicked politicians you personally know or hitler himself living forever the world will be in trouble so to protect this tree this incredible tree the tree of life has moved to the heavenly city and if you eat from it you don't just live forever you stay young forever so the big lesson here is that the tree of life is still very much around and if you want to eat it in the end repent and humble yourself before god don't be stubborn or prideful like our first mother eve who thought she could take the place of god and let's not be weak like our first father adam who chose to be a womanizer and obey a woman over obeying god humble yourself and don't be like our first parent adam and eve and the tree of life will be yours don't be a womanizer like adam repent just to make it clear a womanizer is a man who will do anything including disobeying god to follow a woman and our very first father adam was the biggest womanizer of all times whether you are a man or a woman please learn from adam and eve's mistakes the big takeaway is the tree of life is no longer a distant dream it's a reality offering you and i eternal healing and life don't miss it repent fact number four heaven will be a bright future without sin pain or death in the bible we would discover a breathtaking promise that gives us hope for a future without sin pain or death this promise is found in the book of revelation chapter 21 verse 4 and god shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death neither sorrow or crying neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away the bible teaches us that sin was brought to earth by satan after his fall from heaven this event marked the beginning of suffering and separation from God. God had a big decision to make when it came to dealing with sin. He could have easily gotten rid of sin and the troublemaker called Satan right from the beginning. But if he did that, people might follow him because they were scared of him, not because they loved him. God chose a different path. He allowed sin to do its thing so everyone in the whole universe could see what happens when people mess up. By doing this, God gave everyone a chance to make a choice to follow Jesus or follow Satan. But there is more to the story. God had a super plan to kick sin out of the universe. And that plan will come true when the old earth becomes new again. It will be a fresh start. Revelation 21 verse 27 says, Nothing unclean will ever enter the city. No one who does shameful things or tells lies will ever enter the city. Only those whose names are written in the Lamb's book of life will enter the city in the new earth. All the pain and suffering will disappear and everyone with disabilities will be all better. To summarize this, the Bible promises a future where there is no more sin, pain, or death. God allowed sin to play out so we can now choose to follow him because we love him not because we are scared the day is coming when sin will be gone and the new earth will be a perfect place where there is peace and everyone is whole again no more tears fact number five recognizing loved ones in heaven imagine this in heaven we won't be strangers we would recognize our loved ones and we would have an eternity to spend with them just picture this you can talk with angels you can talk with all the big bible characters like apostle paul john peter and matthew you will get to see your guardian angel and ask him anything you want imagine seeing the prophet daniel in heaven and ask Asking him to share his experience in the lion's den and more importantly we are going to see Jesus himself face to face the Bible also noted that many shall come from the east and the west and shall sit down with Abraham Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven I can't wait to see father Abraham fact number six heavenly activities such as building houses the Bible tells us and they shall build houses and inhabit them and they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them and my elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands in heaven you have the remarkable opportunity to construct your dream home tailored precisely to your desires this 
is awesome jesus himself openly said he will go and prepare big mansions for you and i as he said in my father's house are many mansions if it were not so i would have not told you i go to prepare a place for you don't miss out on this glorious future that jesus has in store for you fact number seven a world of harmony among animals and humans picture this wolves and lambs living side by side leopards peacefully sharing space with young goats calves lions coexisting led by a little child and vision running alongside lions and engaging in playful wrestling matches no fear no harm no pain a promise from the lord they shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain in heaven humans and animals will rediscover the intended harmony between them bringing peace as nature intended i can't wait to be friends with the heavenly lions fact number eight the finer and most important celebrating and worshiping before god's throne i heard a powerful voice proclaiming look god's dwelling is among humanity and he will live with them they will be his people and god God himself will be with them as their God. The most incredible aspect of heaven is that God himself will be with us. This was God's desire since the days of Eden where God communed with Adam and Eve. We would be permanently reunited with our creator. We will gather to worship before God's throne regularly as declared. All flesh shall come to worship before me from one new moon to another and from one Sabbath to another says the Lord. Just imagine standing before God's throne harmonizing with heavenly angels and offering praises to our creator the problem is sadly not everyone will make it to heaven not everyone who says Lord Lord will enter the kingdom sin cannot enter into heaven and those who continuously sin will be destroyed humbling yourself and turning away from your sin and putting your faith in Jesus will get you into heaven confess and forsake your sin your lifestyle must testify to the faith followed by obedience out of love for God. Guys, heaven is a very beautiful place and Jesus is inviting you to be with him in heaven today. He said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him. I hope to meet with you one day, whether on this earth or standing together in heaven. Thank you and make sure you share this video to more people. I love you, but Jesus loves you more. Don't miss out on heaven. Shalom. Peace. Okay, guys, if you love what I'm wearing, you can get the same thing with the link in the description. Thank you, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.